just into chair man gaming. Giant Man Gaming! What is going on? Everybody, this is CMG, aka Chariot Man Gaming. And I'm coming at you with another video, with an exciting video and news update. And before I get started with this freaking crazy news update that's going to be very controversial, get ready, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button, share, and subscribe to C and G. And if you don't like this video, you take your keyboards, your Xbox Series X, your PlayStation 5, your Nintendo's damn Switch, and that damn good old Steam Deck, and you send it all the way out there, up all the way into the depths, back down into the depths of the goddamn barren sea. And hit my mini outlets, check out my mini outlets, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, follow me on all social media outlets. And now, let's get into this video and you see the thumbnail, and you see the thumbnails. You're probably wondering what the hell is I'm talking about. Oh, what are you talking about, man? I said, hey, who needs a switch? Why you think I say that? Because you know what? I found some articles all of a sudden the other day. I was looking around and I'm seeing some. I said, what is going on here? I'm seeing an article about the Nintendo Switch and about the Steam Deck. And I'm seeing this on Kotaku. He's talking about, and it reminds me of me because it's been crazy. Now, listen, when I have played the Steam Deck, I don't know, man. I've been playing the Steam Deck and I've been having a ball. I've been having a blast playing the platform, the, the, the games. But this thing relates to what I'm talking about. And it says right here on Kotaku, Steam Deck's greatness makes it hard to go back to the Switch. Listen, BIOS portable PC is more powerful than Nintendo's hybrid console and it plays games better too by Zach Zuin. Listen, they are 100 per 10, 10 percent, a thousand percent, two thousand percent factual. Because let me tell you something, I started this channel on the Nintendo. I love the Nintendo Switch when it first came out. I said that it was not about power, I talked about all that. Yeah, at that time, when the Nintendo U Switch uses the Tegra X1 and all that other stuff, good stuff, but listen. When you compare the two, it makes it, it's not a match. Back then, in 2017, when the Switch came out, it was a great thing. It was it was playing great games. I, I loved it to play third-party support. I was always supporting, saying that it could play third-party games. A lot of people didn't believe that the Switch could play third-party games. I always believed, and it showed. It played Doom games like Doom games like Resident Evil. Well, actually, well, the old Resident Evils, not the remakes, because that's in the cloud. You know, plenty of games. Games like Witcher 3, which I enjoyed on the Nintendo Switch. Games like Mortal Kombat 11, which had to be remade for the Switch version. You know, NBA 2K 21, 22, all of the 2K games was on the Switch. So many um, third-party games on there. Doom Eternal by the different studios that made Doom Eternal. Like, I could go on and on and on. Like, I mean, so many great third-party support. The third-party support was the best it's ever been since the, the Super Nintendo, basically. But when you play, when you compare this to the Steam Deck, it's not even freaking close. It is not freaking close. Hades. I could go on and on. It was so many freaking games. Listen, the Steam Deck is freaking powerful. When you compare, and when you listen, I'm gonna tell you why. Because everybody has loved the Switch. I enjoyed the Switch. And listen, when you compare the two, there's no comparison. As you see, as you compare the Switch side by side with the Steam Deck, and you see the power. Yes, I can see that. Steam Deck is a miles ahead, way more RAM. The Switch only has four gigabytes of RAM. The Steam Deck has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has way more bandwidth. The GPU is way times longer. But you know what? I want you to listen to. I want you to get this right here as it says listen to it because people are, listen we all enjoyed the switch at the time but I think times has changed and I think it's about time that Nintendo upgrade their console and but listen to what it has to say right here it says since its release in 2017 the Nintendo switch has gone on to be one of the most successful console consoles in history in August Nintendo announced it has sold over 11 111 million switch consoles putting it comfortably in the top five best-selling consoles of all time right behind Sony's PlayStation 4. Meanwhile, Vio Steam Deck hasn't even, hasn't sold nearly 
as well, but the newer portable PC is making a splash among gamers and it lets players take most of their large Steam, Steam library with them on road trips and extended bathroom breaks. It also feels like the Switch Pro we still have yet to receive, letting me play 60 FPS games on my couch with ease. Meanwhile, the Switch is struggling just to run new games like Bayonetta 3 and such. I'm finding it hard to go back to Nintendo Switch because let me tell you something, my gamers. Let me tell you something. I have not gone and played any Switch games since I picked up the Sweden Deck. No, I definitely didn't. I have not touched the damn Nintendo Switch since the Steam Deck. Like they said, with games like Bayonetta games that you see here, like Bayonetta 3 and Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Now, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 runs great on the Nintendo Switch. I've saw the gameplay. It runs great. But there's a problem. There's games like Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3, all those games, Resident Evil Village, those games are in the cloud. You can't play them natively on the console. Now, I have nothing against cloud gaming, but even the cloud game is not too good. But I'm going to be honest, the cloud version of Resident Evil Village is pretty good. But still, I played the Village on the Steam Deck natively on the Steam Deck, and it ran perfectly. It was sick. All right, ran fantastic, and, I, and, and I'm telling you, like, it's, it's amazing. Also, check this out article. And usually, I don't mind coming back to the Switch on par. Nintendo consoles play their fantastic Linux exclusives. Nintendo own games have typically ran great on its own hardware, even as it's they've struggled at sadly of late. It seems Nintendo's own exclusives are having problems with an aging Switch hardware. Band 3 runs like crap, and even my beloved Mario Plus Rabbits single out chunks doing single seek sequences so that's letting you know that it's more than enough time it's way past time nintendo to update that goddamn console it's time the terrible x1 is dated it's been dated when it first came out i enjoy the switch it's dated it's not good anymore it's time it's way past time literally and here's more in years past i could usually forgive some performance hiccups as switch was letting me play new games on a total portable console how cool was that at that time it was very cool but now in 2022 i have the steam deck and it offers some portability with much better performance recently I've been playing Adam Wake on the deck and it runs wonderfully. 60 FPS with just a few minor tweaks. Meanwhile, Adam Wake on the Switch, well, that's not as smooth as the experience, not by half. And like the Switch, I can plug in the deck to my TV or monitor and play all my favorite games on the free big screen. But unlike the Switch, many of those games support a keyboard and mouse, multiple keypads, mods, and cross progression with other consoles. Vios LG little PC is making the Switch feel more and more acclimated. Listen, man, Vios not messing around. With games like Doom, as you see here, now I'm have the gameplay of Doom Eternal. Look how good this gameplay looks. With games like Visceral, with, hey, with games like uh, Split, Split Game, with games like Resident Evil game, gameplay, like Resident Evil 2 remake on the Switch. It just goes on. With games like um, Soul Calibur 6, I mean, these games look fantastic on the on Steam Deck and they all 60 FPS, okay? So, hey, it's way past time for Nintendo to update that hardware because the Steam Deck is right on their ass. It's right on Nintendo's ass. Value's on their ass. But I got another argument and it's not over here. Listen to this. Of course, a more expensive piece of hardware that just come out this year is going to outperform Nintendo's Asia tablet console from 2017. But even if it doesn't, doesn't seem fair to compare them, it's possible not to. And today, all I can think about is when playing the Switch is how much nicer all these great games would look on a much powerful device like the Steam Deck. Yeah. The Switch 2 or Switch Pro, whatever Nintendo calls this up follow up console, follow up console, excuse me, can't come soon enough. What's more, I really hope it supports an entire existing Switch library and with, with better performance than the current Switch. If not, well, the Steam Deck will just keep winning more and more of its playtime. Of my playtime, it's just a better experience. Like, listen, I'm a big Nintendo fan, I'm a big Nintendo Switch fan, all right, and I haven't touched the Switch much as I love Nintendo. I've been on the Steam Deck. I cannot get my hands. I cannot get my hands off of it. Nintendo, it is time. It is time to upgrade the Enchilada. It is time to upgrade the Nintendo Switch. It's way past time. You have to update the Switch. The Switch. All right. It's it's, it's time. This, the system's outdated now. I don't care what you do. Just update the damn Switch because you got the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom coming, and that's the game I definitely want to play. All right. Because being in it, I mean, it doesn't. It, it don't look all that. I mean, it's it's, it's outdated now. It can't be stubborn. The Steam Deck is coming and it's selling like hotcakes. 
And I love the Lieutenant. I love the Lieutenant. I want the Lieutenant to do great, but I, I can't do it no more. It's time. The Steam Deck is not just a gaming console. It's a PC. I'm even, you can run PC games, emulators, everything. You can run it as a PC, a little mini pit. Dang, it's powerful, man. I already showed that in recent videos what this thing could do. You could do so much. You could play all like, the controllers, Bluetooth, everything, music, everything. You, you name it. So my gamers, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about the Nintendo Switch and the Steam Deck surpass it. It's just it's a much more powerful system. Let me know in the comments, my gamers. And all I have got to say is, is sound off in the comment section. And tell me what you think about this situation with the Nintendo Switch and Steam Deck being way more powerful. And don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe to CMG, aka Cherry Man Gaming. And to smash that like button, smash the subscribe and hit the notifications if you want more videos just like this. As you see today, I'd like to thank you for all of my new subscribers. I thank you for all of the support. Thank you for everything. The road to 1K is at hand. I got more content coming on the way, streams and everything. And I'm going to say peace. Hey, appreciate the love that I'm getting on my last video on the Protocol. And unfortunately, that's not even coming to the Switch. We may have to put that in the cloud. Listen, I got to say peace, man. And I got more stuff coming on the way. Peace, keep it gaming, peace. Giveaways, everything. Road to 1K is at hand. And I'm going to say peace. <laughs>